So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to be looking at an application of the chain rule. In particular, we're going to be looking at how the rate of change of one quantity can affect the rate of change of another quantity. So let's start right out with an example. Well, suppose that a square's side length is increasing at a rate of 3 inches per minute. We want to find how fast the area is increasing when the side length is 10 inches. So, how do we start? Well, we're concerned with side length of a square and area of a square. We have a nice formula, namely the area is the side length squared. So capital A is the area and lowercase l is the side length. And we want to find the speed at which the area is increasing. In other words, we want the derivative of a with respect to t, time. Now notice there's no t in this equation, but that doesn't mean that we can't take the derivative of this thing with respect to t. We can, we just need the chain rule. So let's take the derivative of the left-hand side. Well, that part is easy. That's just dA dt. And this is what we want to find, right? This is how fast the area is increasing with respect to t, time. And this is the derivative of the right hand side. So we'll use first the power rule to get 2 times L. But remember that L itself is a function of T. So we need to apply the chain rule and multiply this by DL DT. Now, what is L? Well, we're asked for the speed at which the area is increasing when the side length is 10 inches. So we can replace L with 10. And we're told that the side length is increasing at a rate of 3 inches per minute. So we can multiply this whole thing by 3. Right, so L is 10, and DL dt is 3. So the area is increasing at a rate of 60 square inches Per minute. Let's look at another example. So let's now suppose that a cube's volume is decreasing at a rate of 5 cubic feet per second. How fast is the side length decreasing when the volume is 216 cubic feet? So we can approach this in a very similar way. So let's start by writing down an equation relating the things that we care about, namely the volume of a cube and the side length. So V, which will be the volume, is the side length cubed. And again, we want to find the derivative of V with respect to T, right? This the cube's volume is decreasing, that's talking about the quantity dv dt. So dv dt is 3L squared, right, once again using the power rule applied to this expression. And then here's where the chain rule comes in because L is itself a function of t. So 3L squared times dl dt. All right, now what are we actually being asked to find? How fast is the side length decreasing? So what we want is this. What are we given? Well, we're given that the volume is decreasing at a rate of 5 cubic feet per second. So dv dt is negative 5. And this equals what? Well, we're going to need to know what L is. This dl dt is what we want. How do we find L? Well, we're told that the volume is 216 cubic feet. So this means that the side length is 6 feet, because 6 cubed is 216. So dv dt is negative 5. 3 times L squared is really 3 times 6 squared. So 3 times 6 squared times dl 
dt, which is the thing we want. So if we solve for dl dt, we get negative 5 divided by 3 times 6 squared, which is negative 5 over 108. So this means that the side length, well, this is negative. So what does it say about the side length? It's decreasing. So the side length is decreasing. at a rate of 5 over 108 feet per second.